Welcome, one and all, to Octavio's Toilet Review 2023. Hmm? Hmm. I see a lot of you gathered here today for the event of the year, the event of the century, the event you've all been waiting for. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Octavio, the opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer from Bounty Hunter Unit Armis of Holland Stars English. My name starts with an O and ends with an O again. My name is Octavio. How is everybody doing? Bidet, everyone. Bidet, wherever you're from. Bidet. Wherever, whatever you're doing right now, bidet, Octopossi, bidet, Armada, bidet, Tempura, bidet, Rusaders, bidet, Bubbies, bidet, Sorority, bidet. I hope you all are excited for this very special stream. Truly, a stream of all time, a stream that will truly crap this crazy year of 2023, bidet. Everybody, I see. Yeah, thank you for the yeah, thank you for the greetings. Thank you for all the greetings. Bidet. Say bidet to your fellow puppet. Bidet to the fellow stream. The fellow fellow per puppet in the octopusy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I hope all of you are wearing your wonderful wonderful suits and gowns. Some of you, I see some of you are wearing your traditional country outfits. Not country as in Taylor Swift music, not uh, uh, as in like your national outfits, I see you, I see you. But you know what? Everybody settle down. Let's settle down for a second here. And let me pick a few of you in this castle room that I have prepared in our um, bleachers. Yeah, I'm totally looking at bleachers right now. Uh, let's see, Moon P13, welcome, welcome to the show. The Oct Toilet Review. Jinx, welcome to the Up Toilet Review as well. Sparky, welcome to the Up Toilet Review. Star Girl, you truly are a star girl. Welcome to the Octavio Toilet Review. Akayami, welcome, welcome. A Winter Luna, welcome to the Up Toilet Review. And two more, two more. Let's do three more because I am kingly today. I feel very kingly. Cressia LRR, welcome to the Up Toilet Review. And lastly, let's see. Cellophane Androgyne. See? I am a king, not a prince, not an axeman, not a sniper. I am King Octavio. And I can read all of your names as fast as you type them. So! Now it truly begins, my royal subjects. The Octoilet Review of the Century. Let us go 
to my kingly and royal power poor presentation. Chop chop. I am very small, but do not worry. I shall approach you one step at a time. Five steps at a time. Five steps at a time. I'm coming closer. Do not be afraid. I'm getting closer. Your king is as close as he can be. You are not allowed to go this close. No. Only non-idols can get this close. But for idols and kingly people like me, this is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now for a disclaimer. Disclaimer. I'm just going to let go of my kingly voice right now because it hurts. It kind of hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hello? What is going on? Yes, we are arm's length apart. Two arms length, actually. Eight arms length. If you look at if you look at things differently, because I'm Octavio. So, let me explain what is going to happen here. This PowerPoint and the contents of it were made by my lovely Manesan. Completely. Please, please say thank you to my lovely, lovely Manesan. Uh, they totally plunged deep into the darkness to compile all these uh, toilet pictures for me. However, here's the caveat, right? Here's the cravat, because kings wear cravats, right? Is that not all the submissions have been included here. I know, I, am, I apologize for that fact, but there have been a lot of submissions. <laughs> Way too many than I expected. And there were even like a few submissions like this morning. Um, which I had Manasan review as well. So even a few of those that were last minute submissions were included. Um, but for the rest, I don't know I don't know what kind of logic Manasan did to pick all these toilets, but they did a great job. Please, please, a round of applause for my Manasan. Thank you, thank you. Um Grace, I give you grace, my Manasan. My what's a fancy word? My coup d'etat. Manasan, my coup de gras, my je ne sais quoi, my déjà vu. I give them all to you, my Manasan. Enjoy your jamais vu. Okay. Next up, before we swirl into this crazy review and get. Actually, did you notice that I also have my flush toggle? Wait, do I have my flush toggle? Yes. My flush toggle is on right now. I'm completely flushed. My face be flushed right now. All right. What else do we have right now? Look at my watery, the watery tone of my hair. Feels like it came straight from a sink, a beautiful royal sink. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So aside from the toilets being all of a surprise, I haven't seen these toilets yet. I have I have avoided the hashtag. Is that I have also given the floor to the lovely members of the Puppet Collection to submit questions for today's stream. Meaning, we will be answering some member-submitted questions. And those two were picked by my Manasan, because some questions might be might have been too weird to include and too hard to answer. But these questions are definitely gonna be a treat. Okay? Alright. Now for the rules of the judging. The toilet must have the essentials. A toilet bowl, a sink, a door, a floor, a ceiling, a wall. The essentials. Next, it should have accessories. Does it have a bidet? Electronic or manual? Does it have those? A soap dispenser? Does it have that? A tissue holder? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Next up are the facilities. What facilities does this toilet have? 
Does it have a shower? A shower enclosure? A shower curtain? Right? Does it have a um a place to sleep in? A place to read books in? A place to cook food in? Does it? And next are the miscellaneous items. What items in this toilet make it feel like it's being used every single day, day in, day out? Because I have watched way too many actors and celebrities be like, welcome to my house. But then they show their toilets being like very clean and very tidy. It doesn't feel lived in. It doesn't feel like a family shares this toilet. It doesn't feel like anybody lives here at all. Right? All these miscellaneous things can be anything. Can be many, many things. But uh, we shall see what you guys have provided for me. But without further ado, welcome to the first ever, maybe only, depending on happenings or whatever's going on, if I get banned or not. Oh no, my cat, Stella. Get out of there. Get out of there, Stella. No! My cat, Stella, was standing on my router. <laughs> I don't want to get disconnected in the middle of the stream. And rejoice, Octoposse and Armada. You have been graced by my royal felines, Luna and Stella. They have been really excited going into the stream. They've been scratching my chair, and Stella herself has been sleeping on my headrest of my chair. My royal felines, everybody. Clap, 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 clap. Okay. Now we can truly start this event. Momentous event. And welcome, once and all, one and all, everyone, to Hashtag Oct Toilet Review. I hate that it glitched for a second there. <laughs> I hate that it glitched for a second there. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. <laughs> Let's do it again. Welcome to. Hashtag Oct Toilet Review. Okay. We did it. Now. We shall start this event with a member submitted question. I think. There. What's your most chaotic bathroom experience? Now, everybody in chat, you feel free to answer this in the live chat. I shall read your answers if there are. But, or feel free to answer on Twitter, wherever you wanna, wanna, wanna go to, okay? But my most chaotic ba bathroom, thank you for the submission. Chalk War 5542. My most chaotic bathroom experience was, was when I was in grade school. I just finished playing basketball outside. I'm very, I was very, very sweaty. Right? Very sweaty. Um, then I went to the bathroom. I was like, oh, damn, 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 damn. Ah, crap. How can I be handsome and clean to my crushes if I am sweaty and odorous? and smell bad, right? So what I did was I went to the sink and started, started like cleaning my face with the water. I was splashing the water in my face. And then, as I was doing that, I had a handkerchief, right? I had a handkerchief. So I was, I was splashing water, I had soap on it too, then I had my handkerchief and I wiped my face with that handkerchief. All right, I wiped it, but I didn't feel like it was enough at all. So I so I washed my face again, then wiped it again with my handkerchief and wiped it over and over. Then when I looked at the mirror, what was going on? My skin was getting darker. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh no, I might have I might have wiped like dirt on my face. So I washed it again. I washed it again. And for some reason, I was looking at the water. And the water was getting darker as well. I was like, what? Huh? Then I then I wiped it again with my handkerchief. Then I looked up at the mirror and my skin was getting even darker. <laughs> Then my seniors were one by one going into the toilets. People were using the toilet, of course. And here is this guy just getting darker and darker every wipe. <laughs> what is going on? And then I did it over again. And I, it's like I get, I went completely like, uh, I, I like plunged deeply into the darkness that day. I was like, what am I gonna do? I can't go out. I can't, I can't show my face to anybody. <laughs> I went to the cubicle. I had to hide for a few minutes. <laughs> hide for a few minutes because people were still using the toilets and using the and using the sinks. And then when when <laughs> when the coast was clear, I went back to the sink and I checked my handkerchief. My handkerchief that was previously dyed dark blue was now light blue. I was like, eh. What the heck? <laughs> and what was crazy, my white uniform was also dyed blue as well. Bruh. But once I figured that out, I was able to solve the situation <laughs> as fast as I can. I just washed with plain water. No handkerchiefs involved. However, I didn't have anything to dry it with. So I literally just went out of the room and air dried my face in the air. That's it. So... Yeah, at least my face felt moisturized. But I went back to the classroom with a blue dyed shirt. <laughs> a blue dyed shirt and a dripping wet face. As well as my hair was dripping wet as well. So. I hope <laughs> air dried Tabby. <laughs> Moist, yeah, it turned into Avatar. Yes, yes, Avatar era. I was so scared, I was so scared, I thought I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into Sonic. Yes. So, I hope you enjoyed. That was indeed my most chaotic bathroom experience. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my story. That is a story that needed to be told. Now, we move on to our very first toilet. And with this toilet... I wonder whose toilet this is. I will also be revealing the names of the toilet of the toilets of the owners of the toilet. So I'm sorry because I don't know if the, you're lucky or not. If you're included here, it depends. It depends on who you are. <laughs> so and now we go to the first toilet. I hope you guys are eating. This is a classy event. Don't worry. I'm sure my Manisan won't include anything here that'll um, make you feel queasy or stuff like that. Okay. I'm pretty sure, right, Manasan? Right? Okay. Now our first toilet. Ooh, look at that transition. Wow! First toilet is Fiona 57675807. Now, first off, what it looks like is it looks very clean. It looks very muted. Look at all the colors. Look at the color of the wall. It's in really pale blue, right? First off, we can see it has a toilet bowl that's closed, of course, it's fine, it's fine. Some people are shy to show their toilet holes. Then we see that we have a place for the tissue. It might be a little too close for comfort, right? It might be rubbing on your right arm if you sit here. Now, it has a flush mechanism. Now, this flush mechanism is cool, but it's a bit hard to use, right? Sometimes. If maybe you have low potassium, you reach that, you get cramps in your triceps. So that's kind of, that'll be hard sometimes, but at least it has a flush. What is this thing over here to the right? What is that? Is that supposed to be a shower? Shower place? Cool. And has extra facilities, right? Then you have, I'm going to assume this is a sink. And we have flowers as well. Now this is a miscellaneous thing, as well as the cleaning things, right? So we know that this bathroom is lived in. 
The question is, who lives in this bathroom? Who is Fiona 57675807? But based on this bathroom, based on this toilet, the floor? Yes, it has a floor. It has a it has a wall. Does it have a ceiling? I'm not quite sure about that, but it seems like there is artificial lighting. So it does have a ceiling and a place for you to dry your slippers, right? I think the owner of this bathroom might be Fiona, might be an angel. And therefore, I rate this bathroom toilet an angel out of 10. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Thank you for, for your submission, Fiona. That is truly an angelic toilet. Thank you. Now we move on <laughs> to the next bathroom. Toilet. It's not a bathroom. It's a toilet. Ooh, look at that transition. Ooh, we got a fancy bathroom. All right, a toilet. Ah, I keep saying bathroom when there's no bath place. Toilet. Oh, this looks, what is going on here? Huh? So we got a nice ergonomic looking toilet that's open. They, they're confident about their toilet holes. They have an electronic bidet, right? Oh, wait a second. Did the previous one have a bidet? Oh, no bidet. Huh. How do you, hmm, only tissue, hmm. Hmm, interesting. However, I've I already re ah I already rated it though. Ah crap. Um, but no take backs. Okay, this is an angel. Uh, this is an angel angel out of ten with reservations. Okay. Uh, it could benefit from a bidet. Thank you. Next bathroom again, a fancy bidet. See, um, let's see. What is this? Is this a faucet? What is that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> a fallen angel, yeah. What is this? The thing at the top. An antenna? It's a faucet? Uh, oh, so it also doubles as a sink? Wow. Truly incredible. Incredible. Also, there's a really nice toilet holder here. And then this is a, what is this? A plunger? I'm getting a plunger or something to clean the toilet. See, it also feels lived in. There's a socket. This socket for the electricity feels a little bit too close to where water spurts out, right? Hmm. There's a floor, a wall, and a ceiling. Artificial lighting. Let's see. What would I rate this toilet? It is also very clean. You know what? What I'll rate this toilet is... A mask emoji out of 10. You know why? Because I'd be afraid to breathe in this toilet because it's very clean and very high tech. That my germ germ riddled mouth would just destroy it and make it really dirty. Okay? Germs. Thank you for your submission. Hyper Paripi. Okay? Did we get everything? Yes. Yeah, it's too clean. It doesn't feel lived in. A little bit, a little bit lived in. It's, a, it's cleaning items, okay? All right, next toilet is... I'm actually excited to see the transitions. Wait, what's in that? Whoa, I'm not feeling so well, Mr. Iron Man. Ooh, oh, wait. Oh, uh, feast your eyes on this toilet. It's looking very fancy. Um, First off, marble flooring. Also with a a nice uh, multicolored uh, foot mat thing, right? Um, a golden bidet, twenty four karat gold, and a twenty four karat gold tissue holder that is halfway used, and a spare tissue roll below it. What? This person is fancy schmancy. Very schman- Franchi schmanchy. And this toilet also is in a- it's, it's a weird shape, sure. It's like square, right? But it's pretty cool. And you know what- what's really sending me here is this portable tissue holder. 
You can put it in front of you, on the left, on the right, on the back, on top of you, on your head. It can go anywhere. Extra facilities for the for the shower, right? Shower with a a clear see through mirror window that you can see through for uh for wrestling time, and then a ceiling, a wall, and a floor. I like it. I like it. So this is submitted by Yoko Blue. So for Yoko Blue, damn. This is a bit weird. This is a bit this is a bit hard, right? For wrestling time, yeah. But this is a truly nice toilet with gold ornaments and stuff. I think I can pee in this toilet. Therefore, I rate this toilet yellow fluid out of 10. Truly one of the best toilets so far. I really really like it. Mm. Thank you for your submission, Yoko Blue. I can pee in this toilet comfortably. Right? <laughs> Next toilet oct oh, toilet review. Next oct oh, toilet review. Oh, damn. Now this looks like a real puppet's toilet. Okay? A real puppet's toilet from South Elysium or somewhere near. Right? Look at it! Multicolored floors? Equally multicolored walls? <laughs> a big... Uh, I don't know what the term is in English. <laughs> Timba? <laughs> uh, container for water? Right? So, he here's, here's the thing. You can fill this with water so that in times where the plumbing sucks, you have spare water to use for your uh, activities, okay? It looks very lived in. The toilet itself is not just white. And what is this? What is that on the top? I don't get what that is. Uh, maybe something for cleaning the laundry? Damn. Damn. Okay, you know what? I'm looking at this very South Elysian toilet. I'm, I really like it. It gives me very nostalgic feelings. And so, what should I what should I rate this? I think I should rate this since this is a very nostalgic toilet. I will rate this a cry emoji out of 10. It makes me cry. It makes me feel sad for the times that have gone by. Right? But thank you to C1R May's uncle for submitting this truly truly nostalgic toilet. Thank you. Thank you. Next toilet! Oh, that's a very simple transition. Oh! Another clean ass toilet. But it looks like there's something a bit weird here. A bit new. It's a very nice toilet, like very fancy schmancy. It looks like it's a space age toilet, right? Electric bidet. There's even, what is this? A smart trash can? Smart garbage can? It feels lived in, has cleaning materials, and some soap, and a used towel over there. Um, it also has a really nice bowl-looking sink. It's not embedded into the... into the, the table, it's a little bit upwards. It's a bowl on top of the table. Cool! Um, and also, what's really cool here is the black kind of texture, color of its the things. It feels very... it feels very bachelor's pad. So to speak. Are we sure this is not a hotel toilet? Because this looks really, really nice. Okay. So, Seraphim Dreamer. Your toilet. My question is, though. I guess this is a unisex toilet. Right? Because you guys know that there are three types of toilets. Right? There's a male toilet, a female toilet, and a unisex toilet. And there's a difference. There's a big difference. Because... If you get the female toilet, it's a bit hard for males to do their business in because things might dangle and hit something, right? So I do... This looks like a unisex or at least a male toilet. So I'd, I'd use this many, many times. I'd be, I'd be comfortable using this. Looks like it's uh, lived in. It has a bidet as well. Look at that bidet. It has two bidets. 
What is what in the high technology is this? Hmm. I think I shall rate this. Money emoji with a tongue out over 10. Hmm. This guy, Seraphim Dreamer, looks like they have money. They have money for two bidets. Isn't that incredible? That's incredible. Thank you, Seraphim Dreamer, for your submission. <laughs> Expensive, yes. They have an air. This is. I'm not. I'm not convinced that this is not an airplane. All right. Oh, we reached the second member submitted question. Do you crumple or fold your toilet paper, Octopussy and Armada? I would like to know. What do you guys do? Do you fold or crumple your toilet paper? Fold. Fold it neatly. Thank you, Nintendo, for the question. Nintendo, huh? <laughs> Fold. You crumple. Nebula says they crumple. Ordoran says crumple. The rest are fold. Veers, Veers says crumple. Huh. Now here, I feel like this is where we differ, Octopussy. I crumple. <laughs> you know why I crumple? This is... This is my... This is my reasoning for crumpling, right? It's you create like little divots in the surface of the tissue. <laughs> this is a classy event. This is a classy event, okay? You create little divots, you create little spaces for, th uh, yeah, for things. And when you do that, you, you just get that much more leverage, right? There's more leverage that's why sponges aren't just flat sponges have little holes in them right so that's my <laughs> that is my um line of thinking here but i see most of your folding huh hmm there's more surface area mm, damn ah <sighs> no please don't do the mental image this is a classy stream. I am wearing my glasses. Bidet, everybody. That's why. That's why. You know what? This question is mute. 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 Is mute. This question is easily solved by a bidet or a tabo. Timba and tabo. Okay? Tabo is like this thing that you can just put water in. It's like a bucket. A little bucket. Okay? All right. Next now we go to the next few toilets let's see i think for this that i think we should change the vibes of these next few toilets okay the vibes are changing ah hey south elysian internet company thank you for the super says in very elegant regal voice possible hmm, yes quite the most high class event in south elysium most indeed thank you south elysium company i would like to thank you as well for giving me tip top High-speed internet today. I have not disconnected, and I hope I didn't jinx it. All right. Now, we go to the battle round. We are currently in combat. We are. We were in a castle er, earlier. This is a medieval event. A classy medieval event. It is time to fight the bad toilets and see what Octopossi's toilets will do to fight the corruption beasts. And what they and the toilets that the corruption beasts use. Okay? It's on a fight! Let's do it! Oh! Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I am very, I am very, I am very torn about this specific toilet. First off, the necessities. There is a toilet. There is a bidet. There's a trash can. Looks like there's a trash can garbage bag, so it's lived in, right? I see a few things here on the right as well. Is that a, what is that, a cigarette? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a lighter? <laughs> I don't know what that is. There's a tissue holder. Does it have tissue? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's a bunch of, what are these, lotions? What is shampoo? What, what, what are these, do what is this? The top left. What are you doing to your 
But you're shampooing it every time. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's necessary. Hmm, it might be a little too lived in. <laughs> and next off, there's a dog. Hmm, there is a the hotel bath products. Oh, respectable, respectable. Um, I do also like. You know, just freaking taking all the hotel toiletries and everything with me. Even if I, as I don't use them so that we can take it home with me. Okay? And there's a dog. A cute, cute little dog. But I told you that dogs will not increase my score of a toilet. Okay? But for some reason, I see some letters here. Some statements. Do not trust him. He is lying to you and he is watching. Hmm... This might really be a member of the Octoposse, a member of the Rebellion. And they unknowingly showed their plans for Rebellion. Ha! But, like the dog, I will not minus points. I will not minus points because of this Rebellion. However, Mia Battle Tavi, whoever you are, I'm going to find you. And I'm going to give you a better toilet. Okay? I rate this toilet... A dog out of 10. It's a toilet that a dog would be honored to use. Out of 10. Thank you. Thank you for your submission. Mia Betel Tavi. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Next toilet! Ooh, curtains! Oh? Oh, is that, was that the new Octavio's puppet show intro? <laughs> Nani? Huh, look, another fancy toilet. Look at this. Look at this. A nice looking toilet. Looks like it's unisex or, you know, for everybody. Uh, looks like a marble finish on the sink. A bronze ish. Bronze? Bronze or copper or brass? Um. Sink, I mean faucet. There's soap. There are figures up top. There's a little flower. I don't know if that's real or fake flower, but it's it's a flower. There's a trash can. There's these pink ruffly things that make it nice to just step on when you're just walking in. And there's a towel. Looks like someone just showered. Oh. I have a problem. And there's also a tissue holder. I have a problem with this toilet. It's why am I here? I've never seen this toilet in my life. Why am I here? Huh? Was I kidnapped while I was asleep? Hmm. Is this blackmail? What in the blackmail is going on? H Solo 9610? Huh. I swear to you, I've never been to another person's toilet in my life. Only my toilet. I'm an idol. I don't do those things. I'm kingly, princely, royal. I don't do that stuff. Okay? Another issue is this thing, this bar on top of the toilet would make it a little bit hard to press the flush button, right? And would make it a little hard to reach the toilet tissue. Mmm, very fishy. Very fishy. Okay, I know what to rate this toilet. I think this toilet would be um I don't like I don't like the blackmail thing that's going on. So I will cry in this toilet. If I am ever in this toilet, I will cry. Because because they kidnapped me. The only reason I'll be here in this toilet is that they kidnapped me in my sleep. So, H Solo, I hope you're happy. You made me cry out of 10. <sighs> Another cry out of 10, right? You're tied. You're tied in the cry out of 10. And, but the cries are a bit different. The other one, cry, we cried because of nostalgia. And this one, we cried because I got kidnapped. And I need help. And they have put me here against... My free will. <laughs> Next toilet. Up toilet review. Look at that honeycomb honeycomb transition. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 
Honeycomb transition for a honeycomb wall? What? Ah. Manasan, you're a genius. You're a genius. You be geniusing, huh? Um, let's see. There's something new here. Of course, there's a toilet. There's a bidet. Ah. <laughs> Look at that bidet. It's black, but at the end, it's a stainless bidet. What? That's a, well, that's a weird... That's a weird uh, artistic choice. There's a sink right next to the toilet as well. There's, uh, there's soap. Mm, but the new thing here is... First off, there's a drainage in the middle of the toilet. This tells me that there are times when this floor gets wet. And since they know that this floor gets wet, they have a drainage, which is great. God knows how many times I entered a toilet that is prone to getting its floor wet and doesn't have a drainage. No, please don't smash toilets. That, that's illegal. <laughs> Urinator 100,000 Thank you for submitting your toilet And also you have a plant A snake plant Okay And that's the newest thing here I believe this is the only plant I mean only toilet that had a live plant inside I assume this is live Because <clears throat> This plant seems very Very um, <clears throat> Like very big Like there's a lot There's way too many leaves For it to be just fake Alright Urinator. This is a very interesting toilet. And <laughs> stop it, Gerard. That's why you're not part of this review. See? I asked Gerard for his toilet. And he didn't have the balls to show it. Ruse as well. Ruse didn't want to show his toilet because he thought it would be a weakness that we would somehow be able to defeat him. And honestly, saying that is a weakness in itself. Hmm. I'm telling you guys right now. The two members of Armis that submitted their toilets are me and Gibby. Me for posterity and Gibby because Gibby is amazing. Okay? And that's coming at the very end, I assume. I assume. I think. All right. So, urinator for this toilet. I like I really like the plant vibes going on. It feels like a place I can just vibe and chill in. I'd read a book in this toilet. I'd read multiple books. And therefore, I rate this toilet... A book, multiple books out of 10. Congratulations. Congratulations. <clears throat> but, once again, to everybody who, who's dropping in, what you're watching? This is a toilet review. Octavio's first Maybe last ever toilet review, but you have been watching. Hashtag off toilet review. All right. Now, let's move on. What did Ruse say? Oh, forgot we were idols. I don't use the bathroom. I'm ah. Idols use bathrooms. Otherwise, they just poop in the street. You know. So multiple books out of 10. Congratulations, you're in area 10,000 or 100,000. Congrats. Next. Toilet. Oh, ex Kitsune Hime. See, what I'm seeing about this toilet is that it doesn't have a bidet. It doesn't have some flourishes. It doesn't have the usual flourishes you see, like an electronic bidet, a tabo timba. No? A container, a bucket, and stuff like that. However, what this feels like, this feels like a very lived-in toilet. It feels like somebody really does use this toilet every day. Look at all these non-sponsored items on the shelf. They even have a shelf with multiple levels. And a rubber ducky that graduated? This toilet has been here for many, many years. That the rubber ducky, rubber ducky, Got an education. And look at that flat cat. What a cute flat cat that you can just you can just wipe your face on while you're you know while you're crying in the toilet. And also, this toilet is going after my own heart. It has googly eyes. Look at that. There's a googly eyes on a face. This is a toilet puppet. It's a toy puppet. Toy poi poilet. To po poilet. Right? Congratulations, ex ex Kitsune Hime. 
I'd honestly go in here and spend many, many hours doom scrolling on my phone. Because this is such a cozy toilet. And therefore, I rate this toilet a phone, a fully charged phone out of 10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What did Gerard say? I'm afraid for the boss if I fall off in the toilet. Surely, sure you'd be afraid. Uh, you're clumsy. Of course they'd fall if you use this. Not me, though. I'm like a cat. I'm very gentle with my footsteps. You can't even hear me in the tavern. You, your, your tail would just be like, blah, blah, blah. This, this toilet would be on fire. All right. Thank you, Kitsune Hime, for your submission. A phone. A fully charged phone. Out of ten. Next toilet! Uh, um, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, um, <laughs> okay, wait, I am a professional. I will not be phased by such an amazing toilet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yada yada Jane, thank you for your submission. And this is like the previous toilet, but dialed up to a hundred over ten. But that's not my rating. That's why I don't, that's not my rating. That's that's a very normy rating. Who cares about numerical systems, right? So for this toilet, it seems like it's very lived in, very lived in to the point that only the top one percent of people. Have a toilet like this. A refrigerator out of 10. There's an electric fan. What? Wait, do you have two toilets? They have two toilets. Um, I wonder if Yada Yada Jane lives in this toilet. Then <laughs> they live in this toilet. Then when they need to go to the toilet, they go to the other toilet. I think that's the setting here. Um, there's too much to say. There's too much to say. They have a whole wardrobe of clothes. This might just be a closet. Um. Well, this has a bidet. Do both have bidets? I don't see. At least the left one has a bidet. Multiple mops. See, they're very clean. Is this two different angles? Nah, this isn't. This isn't two different angles. It can't be. Look at all the things. <laughs> Look at all the things they have. Wait a second. Um, what else do they have in here? They have a lot of cleaning supplies, bath supplies as well. They have what is this? Is that like cooking ware over in the lower left? There's cooking ware. There's like stainless steel stuff. Different timelines, <laughs> different stages of life. And why am I standing there again? Do I live here? This is a giant toilet if I'm that small. Like the other one. Damn, this is a giant toilet. What the heck? Um, there's too much to say. And what are these mosaic items? I wonder what these mosaic mosaic items. And what is this thing over here? It seems like my Manesan censored something over to the upper left. What is this, Manesan? Report this image to the No! This is a beautiful toilet. Every toilet needs to be loved. So it seems like this person, Yara Yara Jane, submitted their room and a toilet. Okay? So therefore, you know what? Since this will help an ongoing murder investigation. <laughs> they even have a bathtub. They're both fancy and schmancy at the same time. Huh. Electric fan? I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna doubt that there's an electric fan and an AC in here. Okay, okay. Yada yada Jane. This looks like your whole house already. And this like looks like a place I can sleep in. Therefore, I rate this toilet a bed I can sleep in out of 10. See, look at the bed. Look at the, it even like matches the whole aesthetic of this room. I let's go back. Go back. Let's look at the bed. Look at the bed. See, look at the bed. See that? I suggest you put a bed in there. 
to complete the whole aesthetic. You're welcome. Advice from a true toilet connoisseur. All right, thank you, Ayala Jane, for the uh, for the incredible submission. <laughs> next toilet. How can, will the next toilet top this? I wonder. Oh, crumple. Ah, oh, no. We go to the next member submitted question. Let's let's change the music back again to we finished a boss battle. I mean, we should we, we finished a fight. A mission. So now we're back in the castle. All right, Chilla's art. <laughs> next member submitted question. What are your thoughts on the ethics of going to an establishment just to use their toilet? Thank you so much for this mission, NHX Tricks. You truly are a valued member of the puppet collection. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? A to toilet should be free to use by anybody? You did this once? Gerard's prison cell? <laughs> Hmm, have you ever used the toilet before when you didn't really need to buy like a like a like chicken your chicken joy whatever chicken happy Didn't have to buy your uh, Clothes, I don't know. Is there is there supposed to be a toilet in a clothes store? I don't know um, Toilets belong to people right uh, I guess for emerg emergencies only I see Huh, so you'd go inside a Wendy's just to use the toilet and then just go out is that what's going on? Hmm. See? I believe. Who said that earlier? Toilets are for the people. I believe that toilets are indeed for the people. You know what? I even take this a little bit further. That private toilets in people's houses should be fair game for everybody to use. There have been many instances where I was on a road trip and I needed to use a toilet. But there wasn't any kind of establishment, restaurant, clothes store, whatever, nearby. But you know what there are? A bunch of houses. Why is it so hard to knock on people's houses and be like, Excuse me, can I use your toilet? Right? If I become president, that is my first rule. Private toilets are for the people. The same way public toilets are for the people as well. Actually, I have a little story about this. When I was a kid, every Sunday, we'd go to the Church of O. Right? Every Sunday, we'd go to the Church of O. I hated going to the Church of O. Why? I just wanted to play my games. Right? This was before I was converted to the Church of O. I just wanted to play games. I wanted to watch my TV shows at home. I didn't want to go to Church of O. Right? And so, for some reason, I think psychologically, psychosomatically, I developed this reflex or whatever that whenever we'd go to the Church of O, I'd feel a rumbly in my tummy that I need to dispense in the nearby KFC. <laughs> so, every time we'd go to KFC, I'd just go straight to the toilet, then go out, then go to the Church of O. So... I've been to the Church of O many, many times. And therefore, I've used KFC's public toilet many, many, many times as well. So, this is why I'm this side of the fence. That every toilet should be for everybody. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Praise me, praise me! And that, my friends, has been another question answered in today's... Hashtag, Oct Toilet Review. Scrabble edition. All right. Let's go to the next question. Let's see. We're back in the, we're back. Let's see. Oh, this music is fine. Let's do this. This music is fine. Okay. Let's go to the next toilets. Oh, I have a feeling these next toilets are going to become harder and harder to rate. Right? I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's do it. More toilets. Ah, this stream is so good! Next toilet is from... Ooh, look at that cube transition. Art by love. Art by love, here is your hashtag op toilet review. You have the necessities. You have a toilet that is a very nice retro classic looking shape, right? I like the color green as well. The nice, the nice like... 
muted pastel green. You have a really nice looking bathtub that's not part, it's not like embedded into anything. It's like a standalone bathtub. However, I have an issue. You don't have anything else. Where's the sink? Where's the bidet? Where's the tissue holder with the tissue? Where's the... Where are the... Bathrobes? Where are the facilities? Where are the shower? I mean, there's probably a shower there. I don't see nothing! There's a tub? Do you think... Art by Love will reach whatever sink is there, like whatever faucet is there in the other edge of this tub just to wash their hands or something? Or like, collect water in their palm? To rinse their... Nether portal? However, what you do have is a cat. And this cat, obviously, likes using this toilet. Mmm, <sighs> this is a hard, hard one to... Hard, hard toilet to rate. But you know what? You know what? Given that you have n absolutely nothing except the necessities, right? And this is the only thing I do in your toilet. My review for a toilet is that my rating is that I would pee in your toilet. But please flush the toilet before the cat gets to the, t to the water, okay? Just please, please protect your cat. But I'd pee in this toilet, all right? I'd pour yellow beer into this toilet. Organic yellow beer. All right? <laughs> Next toilet. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at this totally non-sponsored toilet. Wow. Wow. Mmm. I like the branding. Like the branding, it's from a character that I have no idea who it's from, or where it's from, or what it's doing. Um... Wow. I like it. I really like it. It actually fits the colors of my eyes. Look at that. It has a toilet, of course. It, it looks like it has a plunger over there. It looks like there's a wooden plunger over to the side. There's also a roll for toilet tissue. I'm not sure if there's a bidet, though. If I don't see a bidet, it doesn't exist. I don't have object permanence like that. Even the towel over to the right is pink. It's not even pink. It's, um, what's the color? Salmon? Coral? Something like that, right? And look at the sh shower curtain. It's, there's a lot of, like, ruffles or whatever that is. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not convinced this, this is just a toilet. I'm convinced that if you just turn the camera to the side, you can see a bed and everything else. You can see like a bed, like a like a princess. Yes, this is a toilet fit for a princess. Therefore, if I am in this toilet, I will put my mask on. Why? I don't want to get weird like freaking stray kisses from a princess. No way. I'd never do that. I'd never touch anybody in my life. Except for the Armis boys. Never. So, I rate this a mask out of 10. I'm afraid. When I, if I'm in here, I'll be afraid. I'm afraid of any like, Oh, I'm a princess. You kiss my hand or something. Right? Screw that. But Bunny Shortcakes, thanks so much for your submission. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This is a pretty toilet. Might be a little too pr oh. Help me! Help? Help? Are we back? Please? We back? Are we back? Please, I hope we're back. These toilets aren't gonna rate themselves. These toilets need to be rated, okay?
We need to rate the toilets. The public demands that we do it. Okay, we're back. We're back. Woo! Ah, we're back. Welcome back to... Hashtag Oct Toilet Review. Ah, we're back. Okay. Ah. <laughs> God damn it. I was, I was crying. I was crying, chat. I was literally crying. Like... <laughs> I thought I was gonna gonna rate toilets anymore. It was so fun. All right. <clears throat> Next toilet essentials are there. Cool little toilet. Very, very very neat and tidy. There's a bidet. This bidet looks like also it has a soft uh soft coil soft um tube with it too, which is my favorite. Um, look at that square. You know the typical the classic uh, shower curtain. Is this a medicine cabinet up top? The medicine... Whoa! Look at the artistry. The artistry of this toilet. The medicine cabinet up top has a mirror. And the mirror is reflecting the fact that there is a toilet... I mean, a toilet tissue holder in front of the toilet. Wow! Right? And the cat is, of course, really, really cute. Of course. Who? What is this cat? Everything goes? Everything goes? This cat is so cute. Alright. I think I know what to rate this. I would like to rate this a... Dog out of 10. You know why? I'd like to see more dogs in here. I'd like to see a cat and a dog. <laughs> this this picture would have been... Would have been would have been even better if there was a dog in here as well. <laughs> no! Dog is intentional. This is a dog out of 10, okay? This cat is super cute. It needs a dog friend. All right? Okay. I was not expecting a bunch of cats. I was expecting more dogs in here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Because I'm the only cat in this world that exists. I'm the only cute cat that exists, okay? Hmm. In this stream, alright? I showed you my ears, now show me your toilets. Alright, next stream, next toilet is... Ooh, what in the origami is that? What? <laughs> what? Did the, did the thing just turn into an origami and just fly away? <laughs> Ooh. Look at this very festive toilet. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This toilet isn't just seasonally festive. It looks like it was made to be festive. Just from the tiles alone. The tiles are Christmas red already. And those tiles, you can't change those during Christmas. Right? You can't change that. These tiles are already there. They're ready for Christmas every Christmas time. Then you have the mop, which is also in Christmas season. You have the cover of the toilet, very Christmassy. What is that over the up, upper right? Is that like a replacement toilet cover? They're prepared! Look at all the tissue! Where, where did all the tissue come from? Were you one of the hoarders during 2019? <laughs> That's so much tissue. Um, I do like- why is there a water bottle? What does the water bottle signify? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? I'm gonna guess that water bottle has hydration? No way! <laughs> Not the hydration. Thirsty. <laughs> Dehydration. Um, you know what? I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, let's see, let's see. <sighs> this also, this toilet is also very bright. I see like bright lights everywhere and it's even snowing. I think this toilet can be both very bright and very cool. Like cold and cool. So therefore, I rate this toilet 
cool emoji out of 10. It's a cool, Christmassy, and cold, snowy toilet. We just haven't seen the whole toilet after all the snow settles down. <laughs> a cool emoji out of 10. Congratulations, Tifu Amashiro. That is a great rating, to be honest. One of the best. One of the best. Next. Uh, <laughs> that's a... Okay. That's a paper plane. From an origami, it became a paper plane. All right. Oh, classic. No, this is like a hybrid. This is a hybrid of modern and classic. See, here's the thing. Look at this. The toilet... The toilet shape is very modern. I think. You know, it's like a toilet you can see on a spaceship. Which is a bit crazy considering the other parts of this toilet, which is more classic. It has a bu big bucket and the tabo. Tabo is what? Dipper? Right? And the best thing about this tabo and timba and the bucket is that it's quite near to the right hand of whoever is going to be using the toilet. Right? It's ergonomic. It do be ergonomic. And it's placed inside the shower enclosure. Kind of enclosure-ish with a with a pink shower curtain as well. And look at the placement of the soap. So if you're taking a bath here, you're doing your shower, showering with either. I'm gonna guess you only have a bucket? Do you have a shower? I can't see if you have a shower up top. But even if you don't, this is perfectly, perfectly fine and serviceable. And very respectable. So when you're doing your showers or whatever, just reach over to the left and then you get your soap, right? Very ergonomic. I like it. I like it. Um, Tweorsh. Tweorsh. Thank you for submitting your toilet. Also, also, again, I can see a bunch of bottles here that Gerard will like hit with his little tail. Mm -hmm. But I like, I like that it's actually looked like a toilet that is being used. It's lived in. Okay? So... This makes this really makes me feel like I'm at home. It's it's a very homey toilet. It's a toilet that talks straight to my heart. Ouch! Ouch! Stella climbed on my leg with her claws. Ow! That was on my right leg. Ah! What the heck? Stop it! Stop it! Ouch! That hurt. I rate this once again, a bed out of 10, right? It seems like it's a really nice place to just sleep and to just be in. It's like you went back to your mama's home and you're like, mom, can I use the toilet? Okay, son. Then you go to the toilet and it's, ah, yes, the toilet of my childhood. <laughs> Thank you, Toyorsh, for submitting your toilet. Or would you sleep in the toilet on top of it? Like, you can sit there with the toilet cover on and just snooze. Toilet has no flush. There is a flush. It doesn't have a bidet, though. But that's okay because it has the, uh, the, the dynamic duo. The bucket and dipper, right? Bucket and dipper. Timba and Tabo. Next toilet. Oh, no. We're already the next member submitted question. Crazy. The real question here is, this was submitted by at CTS-2. The real question is, how do you put your toilet paper? I can't attach an image, but do you put the toilet paper facing the wall or facing the toilet to rip the sheets? What do you mean? Facing the wall. Ah, I think I get what you mean. You mean like the part? of the tissue roll that is that you actually take the tissue from, right? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, I see a bunch of... What are your answers here, uh, chat? Octopossi. Um, under or over? Basically over or under? Ah, yeah, over or under. Okay. What if you don't use toilet paper? Yeah, I mean, if you don't use toilet paper, you have a bidet, you have a bucket dipper, that's fine. The ceiling is the right place. Over, over, over? Oh, a bunch of over. Over, of course, over. Ceiling of... Whoa! There's no under? Huh. Wow. What do I do? What do I prefer? 
I think I prefer under. Right? Why do I prefer under is kind of psychopathic? Excuse me? No, no, no. Here, here is my, here's what I'm thinking right now. If under, that means that piece of tissue that you're gonna get is facing the wall, right? And there is only a small gap between the edge of the tissue roll and the wall. Therefore, there's less room for it to be contaminated by whatever is in the room, right? By the air in the room. And it's always gonna be like in its own little safe space at the back facing the wall. So when you reach for it, you know that it's clean. You know that it's just clean. And also, here's the, here's the thing. It also provides a very nice uh, leverage because you're counting on the weight of the tissue roll to hold the tissue in place while you're, while you're freaking pulling it, right? Right? What happens? What happens if for the over? I'm, I'm thinking this is, this is kind of theoretical right now. For the over tissue, you pull the tissue. However, what is holding it in place? Nothing. It's just pure chaos. It's just chaos, right? You can you can pull it to the left, pull it to the right, pull it up, and it'll, it'll just follow your movements. Whereas if it's under, there's always like a place for it to hang on to, like to, to just be an anchor, to be anchored by the, the rest of the tissue roll, right? You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Stop mans. I'm not mansplaining. <laughs> Grab no. <laughs> I tell you. Also, just imagine. This is oh, this is why. In a bunch of TV shows and movies, you know when people say they TP'd someplace, whatever place, it's because they have their tissues over. Right? Because they have their tissues over, the tissue is so easily accessible that they can just TP your place. And put tissue rolls all over the room. Or maybe you have a cat. And the cat is like, I'm going to roll this. I'm going to roll this right now and just put it all over the room, right? Damn. <sighs> yeah, that's why that's that's why I only see it in TV shows and movies. That's the only place. Because in my home, nah. My home has never been TP'd. Actually, I don't even think... I don't think we even, even have a tissue roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have a tissue roll right now installed. I mean, like in the tissue holder. Will you? Oh, I might. We'll see later. We'll see later. <laughs> use a leaf? That's an option too. You can also use sandpaper. But my friends, that is, once again, hashtag. Oct toilet review. <laughs> All right, next, next few toilets. I feel like this might be the last batch of toilet. Oh, oh, yeah. This might be the last batch of toilets, so it's gonna get crazy in here. Things are gonna get crazy, and also Gibby and my toilets are gonna be revealed soon. Look at this. I f when I look at this toilet, again, a real puppet's toilet. When I look at this toilet, um, submitted by Laham Kita, I feel like I'm under the sea, right? And look how clean they are. They have two, they have two, like, floor mats, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> under the sea. Two floor mats. Um, it's very multicolored, very South Elysian, somewhere, somewhere near, somewhere far in South Elysium. And here is, oh, here's the best thing here. Two things are sticking out to me. No toilet seat cover. No toilet seat cover. And this nice little pseudo stained, cla stained glass window for the door, right? So, you know my thoughts about no seat covers. A lot of people are like, oh, no seat cover? Nah, that's a bust, I don't care. I'm not gonna use that toilet anymore, nah. As for me, no seat toilet cover, no problemo, easy peasy, right? If you don't have a seat cover, 
there's less there's less chance for the, the bacteria to culture in there. You know, it's because if there's always a seat cover and don't clean it, it's gonna culture inside that dark, damp space all uh, for many, many days. But without a seat cover, you know that whatever is in there, you can clean easy peasy, right? Very multicolored, and also the stained glass. This stained glass is making me nostalgic again. I can't believe it. I can. I, these, this image literally is an image I can hear, I can feel, I can smell. <laughs> um, I can touch, I can feel, yeah. I can he I can f I can hear this door opening. This door isn't wood. This door is like, I don't know what the material is, it's kind of like plastic. And sometimes it just gets stuck. Because the hinges sometimes just get loose. And sometimes it's hard to open this freaking door. This isn't wood. I, I forgot what the PVC. Yeah, PVC. And you know, it's always nice to know that there is a woman watching you while you're doing your business, even if it is a stained glass woman. No. So, laham kita. I feel I feel very when I'm in here. I feel again like I'm at home. And you know when I'm at home, I get hungry, you know? So honestly, laham kita, I can, I can sleep in this toilet. I can do many things in this toilet. But most of all, I can eat in this toilet. In fact, I will grill hot dogs in this toilet. I give you three hot dogs grilled out of 10. Congratulations, Laham Kita. You have a hot dog grillable toilet. <laughs> a glizzy out of 10. <laughs> what does it even mean? I, I, I said I said it. I can eat my hot dogs in this toilet. Because it feels like home. <laughs> Next toilet. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Wow. Fancy schmancy. So this toilet was submitted by Kismet Nightingale's dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. The essentials, a toilet. Looks like there's a plunger or something to clean the toilet as well. Um, And also a drain for the water. Cool. And I really like that striped wall to the left. It looks really, it's really like, oh, it's like retro, but also not. Cool, the wallpaper, that's pretty nice. But more importantly, the dollar bills, you're right. Look at the, all the dollars. It's not exactly a currency I can use in South Elysium, but I know this currency is very important in Earth, right? On planet Earth. Um, oh, that's a heater, not a drain? Damn, so this is it. This, this definitely isn't a South Elysium toilet. What, a heater? Huh, cool. Cool. Not a South Elysian toilet. I have never seen a heater in a toilet. So, they do they use a. I don't see no tissue paper. I don't see no bidet. I don't see no source of water. There could be a sink there, but again, if it's not in the picture, it doesn't exist. So, it's a bit hard. It's a bit hard. Use the money as oh, we using the money as tissue paper. Ah, oh, cool. I see. I see. I know what to rate this. Easy, easy. <laughs> money, money, and money. Eyes with a tongue sticking out emoji out of ten. Damn, it's perfect. It's perfect for this toilet. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What the heck? <laughs> Who submitted this? Kismet Nightingale? Damn! Tell your dad they have a really nice toilet, but he needs a source of water or else his his nether portal is going to be dry, but rich, but dry all the time. Tell your dad that. That's from Octavio, a true toilet connoisseur. Next toilet is from Hyoshiku. Oh, 
It's a shy toilet. It's very shy. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't want to see it. It doesn't want us to see it. What the heck? Why is... Why is it... <laughs> Why are we raiding this toilet? I can't even see it. Okay. What can we glean from this picture? First off... It's a tundere. <laughs> it's a tundere toilet. It's both mad at us and shy and like blushing. Flushing. So to speak. Uh... This is a- this is actually very intimate. What a very- what an intimate setting to be in. It's- it's- we're in a dark room. And we're with a shy tundra toilet. Um... This is too much for me. This might be too much... For, uh, a nor- like a- a normal anime episode. Hmm. Okay. Hyoshiku. You know what I will rate this? I will rate this a... Hmm... I shall rate this! A phone out of 10. A fully charged phone out of 10. Why? Because you need a phone as a flashlight. Many times have I been to a toilet that had a non-working ceiling light. I had to do my business in the dark. And you know what helped me? And increased my confidence is my phone and its flashlight, right? A phone and its flashlight. And I'm able to do my business without being spooked and without being scared about things. And you we can and with the flashlight, we can clearly see each other. And we'll get to know each other a little bit better. Alright, toilet? Okay, Hyoshiku's toilet? Okay? Thank you. Thank you for the submission, Hyoshiku. Thank you, thank you. How many more toilets are there? I, I I think there should be a few. What in the what in the cyberpunk toilet is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Wow! You can do this? It's a gaming toilet. <laughs> That's no toilet. That's a nether portal. That's the oh. I need to make a toilet in the church of O. That's also a nether portal. Bro. Oh my god. O Oteru Tori. Oteru Tori. Um wait, did I play with Oteru Oteru during the crab game? I think I did. Let's see, let's see. What to say about this toilet? Uh, it has a necessity, sure. It has a toilet. And what is that up top? Is that- I'm, I'm gonna think that's a flush. It has a remote flushing system up top. Looks like it has a bidet. Possibly. I can't see because it's so dark. But it's a- it's dark in the way that it doesn't need a phone, though. It has RGB lighting. Does this change to red, green, and blue as well? In different colors? It doesn't have a bidet. Oh, it's both so cool and so weird at the same time. What should I rate this toilet? This looks this looks like a, I I want RGB in my toilets now. What the heck? Where do you even place the RGB? Is it like under the toilet seat cover? What? It's kind of weird. What if things splash in there? Does it change the color? Stop it. Um, I think I shall rate this toilet A. Um, oh wow, this might be the first toilet to be rated this way. Right? This UV light? Nah, it can't be UV light. This will destroy our eyes. <laughs> this might be the first toilet that will ever... I, I was not expecting to rate a toilet this, but it's here. We're finally here. I shall rate this toilet autoritori. This toilet gets a... Rocket ship in space out of 10. Damn. It looks like it belongs on a cyberpunk rocket ship going to space. Right? 
That's amazing! Action stations. <laughs> it's a toilet that I'll definitely use while we're, like, running away from the Cylons. Or whatever. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love it. I love it. Thank you for... Thank you for gracing this show with your toilet, Alteratori. Thank you. Next toilet! For our hashtag Oct toilet review. Oh. Oh, I was not expecting to go back to a nice clean toilet after this. Uh, fancy. It has a electronic kind of bidet. It has a... Wow, what is that? Is that a... Is that a... Why is there like a keypad going on there? Huh? Oh, it also has like, you know, those scents? Those oil... Essential oil scents thing? Things? Right? Ooh. It has a nice little shower enclosure. Uh, it also has a nice bathtub. This... This toilet is very fancy. This toilet is fancy. Oh, I like I really like this toilet. Like... I wanna- I wanna eat this toilet. I wanna- I wanna... Like... Install it in my own house. It's also very spacious. A shower and a bathtub, right? That's crazy. It's crazy. Hmm. I think I know what to rate this toilet. Skylar, PPSIM Y64. I know what to rate this toilet. Yes. In order to get this kind of toilet, you need to melt gold. So I would like to rate this a melt gold toilet out of 10. <laughs> We melted gold to get a toilet like this. Not just that, I think it should be combination of melted gold, a money over 10, and what else? Because we're heckin' freaking rich, I give this also a grilled hot dog out of 10. Damn. I'm actually surprised. It, it looks simple because it's so clean, but it has everything. It looks lived in. There's a towel that's been used. There's a, it has all the facilities. It has all the essentials, even a bidet. It even has like miscellaneous stuff like the freaking essential oils. Wow! Skylar PPSIMY64, you truly outdid yourself. This is an incredible toilet. Thank you. Thank you for uh, submitting your toilet to the hashtag Oct Toilet Review. Clap, 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 clap. Incredible. Next toilet is... What in the world is going on? What, what are these toilets? Why are these toilets so nice looking? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. First off, the toilet itself looks heckin' amazing. It's, it looks like a, maybe a unisex toilet. The shape is very modern. It has a... It has a... It has a bidet that's all black. It has a nice tissue holder with a nice minimalist design. What is that? Is that a door? The the door with the like the the thing? Is it essential oils up top? A rib door. And I guess this is two pictures, yeah. So if you look to the left, you go to the shower. Look at the shower area! What? There's wood. Panels? Oh! The floor also looks like it's okay if it gets wet. <laughs> it looks better than your room. <laughs> it has a heater? Oh yeah! It has a water heater. And it also has another- it has a, like a bowl sink over to the- near the shower as well. What in the- this looks very Japanese. This looks like a Japanese- This is what I expect to see when I go to Japan, maybe? Like in a fancy place. Wow. You live like this? You live in luxury like this? Wow. You know what? You know what you deserve? You deserve my throne. You deserve- I think... Jasmine... You are... <laughs> You are the host of the next Oct Toilet Review. 
<laughs> I think you beat me. You beat me. This is like... This is all yours now. Whatever is in that treasure chest is all yours as well. Damn. Wow. Let's go back to it. I love. I like. I wanna. I wanna. Uh. No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not gonna pee in this. We're not gonna do anything in this place. <laughs> this is. It's off limits, guys. This is just. This is. This belongs in a museum. No, I didn't pee in it. No. Or melted gold in it. No way. But Jasmine, this is truly incredible. Thank you for submitting your toilet to the hashtag Oct toilet review. Next up, oh, next oh for the I think this might be the last member submitted question, right? If I'm correct, yeah, this might be the last. We're almost there. So next up might be just me and Gibby's toilet. Yeah. So this member submitted question was submitted by Dazzy underscore Draws. My troubling question is why are you obsessed with toilets? Octopussy and Armada. I have gone through 23 years of my life, interacting with many, many a people, many a person in the world in South Elysium. And 99% of these people aren't, cannot live outside. But they are outside. And they're corrupting everyone else with this, with this idea that we shouldn't use public toilets. Right? And they've become so many that they shame anybody who likes toilets and this is exactly what you're seeing right now towards me see i have been, been oppressed my whole life i've been living in oppression justice for public toilets right i remember i was in a carnival and i was like oh i need to do some business in the toilet and there were and the people were like oh don't worry we're about to go home i was like no there's a toilet right there. I can use it. And they're like, no, don't use that toilet. That's disgusting. I was like, huh? That's what the toilet is for, right? Even at work. Here's 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 the awful thing at work. Monster hunting, right? Monster hunting. We're going monster hunting. We are in front of an enemy. And then one of my monster hunter hunter buddies buddies is like, bro, I need to, I need to. I need to pee or whatever and i was like my guy there's a public toilet right next to us there's a porta potty right next to this monster use that I'm like nah man i can't use a public toilet I, I'm, I'm gonna go home and so we traveled on his cart back home which is like 20 miles away just to use the toilet and i was left in the middle of the wilderness a desert i had to camp i had to set up camp just to wait for him to come back because he couldn't use a damn porta potty right next to the monster. Why? Right? My life has become harder because of all these non public toilet users. They have been bringing me down ever since the day I breathed first. This is why it is my mission to tell people it's okay. It's okay to use public toilets. It's okay to go through something a little bit uncomfortable. Just a little. You know? So you can appreciate when things are comfortable. Right? It's okay. It's just, just a little. Just a little. Just a little perseverance. Just a little patience. Right? Because one day, you using that public toilet will save a monster hunter from camping in the desert for two days waiting for you to come back all right and that's why i'm obsessed with toilets not just to you dazzy draws but to octopasi Alleluia, omen bow and i am octavio from South Elysium. Thank you for the wonderful question. <laughs> All right. 
Next toilet is from... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Gold Bullet. Right. Of course. It's Gibby's toilet. Damn. <laughs> See? Gibby understands. Sometimes, when it's very crowded in the tavern... It's very, very crowded in the tavern. Where is your only safe space? Sometimes it's just a toilet. And Gibby takes it to the next level. He doesn't just eat in his toilet. He dines in his toilet. <laughs> he fine dines in his toilet. He doesn't even need a plate. Because the toilet itself is ceramic. <laughs> Look at that, he even has the table setting, the, the fork and spoon, and the, and the luxurious Spam, and Vienna sausage, right? Meat. <laughs> it's fine China. Yeah, it's porcelain. Sitting on a porcelain throne while cooking a Spam and Vienna sausage on an open flame. Yes! Damn, Gibby. You know how to live. Even more than me, above all of us, you know how to live. And therefore, I rate this toilet... I grill a hot dog in this toilet. I grill a hot dog in it. I'd be comfortable grilling a hot dog, right? <sighs> so cool. Gibby, you're so cool. You know what, Gibby? I'm gonna give you one other rating because this toilet can also work in space this is the only toilet that I saw that actually had food in it so we can live a few days in space because that's food right and we don't have to live like savages we can still find dine thank you for the glizzy you can still find dime in space, right? Thank you so much for submitting your toilet, Gibby. And once again, Gerard didn't submit his because he only has a hole. He just finds holes and just does his stuff in it. Ruse is like, oh no, they're gonna find my weakness, ah. Uh, which is weak in and of itself. And lastly, we go to the final toilet. Where does this Self-proclaimed, not really self-proclaimed, like a real toilet activist. Where do they use, where do they do their business? And I'm sorry to disappoint you, Octoposse, but fact might be truly more boring than fiction, right? The fiction in your head, you feel like, I know in your minds and hearts that you think I do my business in a obsidian throne with servants left and right, with blue flame on the walls and the torches, under the night's sparkling sky. But if you look a little closer at the ceiling, it's not stars, but it's a glint of different gems and diamonds etched in rock. And the floor is a clear, clear as, clear as glass, like ice that you can step on. But if you look through it, you can see the ocean, just calm waves of the ocean. But unfortunately, I have a normal ass toilet, and this is my toilet. <laughs> this is my toilet. So let's discuss this toilet, okay? Um, essentials. It has a toilet. It has a. <laughs> it has a sink. It has a sink that's like a bowl, right? Um, it has a black, a black bidet that I changed 
I did change the thing though. I did change the freaking the bidet sprayer itself because the previous one broke for some reason. Um, <laughs> but it's black, you know. Then the color of the paint is like a dark blue, dark bluish greenish color, right? And they're bricks, white bricks. The sink is O. The mirror is O. Everything is O. Ikea, what? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 20 gifted. Excuse me? <laughs> See? Look at the floor. I, I, I couldn't show the floor, but the floor has like a nice Victorian pattern to it. Right? Um, and it's, it's lived in. You see the sponge? There's a sponge. <laughs> I mean, there's a sponge, right? Uh, for cleaning things. And then you can see this isn't this isn't hand soap. This is soap for my dog. <laughs> Look at the soap. That's like what is that? Saint Roche or something like that? That's my dog shampoo. It's there. I just gave him a bath the other day. <laughs> No, that the other the other stuff is it is in the cabinet below, the hand soap and the other things, you know. And one thing you might notice is the tissue holder up top. Now here's the thing: <laughs> we make do with the space we have. Unfortunately, this toilet is really small that we can't even put a tissue holder in front of me. <laughs> if you put a tissue holder in front of you. It'll be hard to go past this toilet into the shower. To the right, there's a shower. The shower enclosure. Uh, so we like, let's just put it above. <laughs> so imagine, imagine just extending your hand up to grab tissue, putting it on your head, roll it on your head, and then when you're done, just karate chop it. And then you have tissue. But I don't even use tissue. I have the bidet! I mean, kind of use tissue sometimes when you need to dry. Right? But, yeah. That is my toilet. Ah. Did you guys enjoy my toilet? The opulent, octatonic, operatic, puppeteer, bounty hunter, you know, of monsters, English. My name starts with an O and ends with an O. My name is Octavio. That is my toilet. Ah. And that officially ends. My hashtag Octoilet Review. Hashtag Octoilet Review. Hey, everybody! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for coming to this stream! I know it was super weird. I know a lot of you guys had, like, uh, are we really doing this? And uh, I hope. I hope at the very least that you guys still enjoyed the stream. <laughs> um, but that is officially my... Mm, I think it might definitely be... Oh, thank you so much for the super. Let me, let me read that. Thank you for the reviews and Happy New Year to you. My toilet obsessed Kamiyoshi. This is that exactly the quality content I sub for. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the super. Um, uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you for this wonderful end of the year. This year has been crazy, right? Um, but what's going to be awesome is that this 2024 is when I feel like I'm, I can finally like get into the groove of doing the things I want to do. Doing the streams I want to make. KGO, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Sorry, just tuned in. Oh, it's fine. This is going to be an archived VOD. It's going to be archived. Don't worry. Um, people demand a part two. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do a toilet uh, review part two. Otelis, thank you so much. Otutavio, thank you. Thank you for the super. Uh, also, thank you for joining the Sock Puppets. Uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see about the part two. We'll just make this very sparingly. Maybe at the end of the next year again. The end of next year. But for, for now, this is the end of <laughs> our current toilet arc. <laughs> I noticed this whole week I've been talking way too much about toilets. <laughs> So let's stop with that and move on to new and exciting things. But everybody who submitted and everybody who watched, thank you so much for um, indulging in my crazy stream idea. Um, thank you also to my Manasan 
for <laughs> for green lighting this as well and asking the departments involved if it's okay. Um, but yeah, it is, this has been a fun time. Really, really fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have a great new year. Thanks for this interesting stream. Happy new year. Looking forward to you and the voice cover. Hey, yes! Uh, speaking of cover, later at 11.30? 11.30 p.m.? 12.30 p.m. GST. That's tomorrow morning. 12.30 a.m. GST. We're gonna have a Kami no Mani Mani cover. Mani. Kami no Mani Mani cover. Um, releasing. It's... Actually, I actually think, aside from the 12 Days of Christmas, it might be the first Japanese cover in Holostar's EN. That's like a company um, cover thing. Right? So that's the first one. So it's got to be so fun. Uh, the boys the boys really did their best when it comes to singing in Japanese. I know that they're not comfortable singing in Japanese, but bro, it's it's like a concerted effort. Even the man even the managers helped uh, all of us like in the pronunciation and how to sing things. Our managers are heckin' cracked. Like they can sing in themselves. They can be they can be in Hollow Stars. <laughs> if they if they wanted to. They can use our models and be do better than us. That's crazy. Uh, Malifery is like peeing in my pants. Everyone can see it, but only I can feel the warmth. This stream oh goddamn astronaut. That's crazy. But thank you so much to uh, everybody. Also the Manisans for that. And also, I noticed that my cover of Hollow Hunger is at 260k? Right? Let's stream it 40,000 times before the year ends and let's get to 300k! Come on! Let's do it! <laughs> I'm gonna be streaming this every every second of the day. Can we get to 40k views? To 300k? Let's see. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for coming in. Let's see. I'm gonna redirect to the Tempest in year in review. Of course, I'm such a goober. I scheduled this stream at the same time as a Tempest year in review. Hopefully. The people who decided to watch that instead, I'd watch that instead. You can also go here and watch the VOD. It's still fun, right? It was fun. Happy New Year, Tavi. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for using my art for it. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, making the art as well. Oh, bunch of supas. I can't go. Uh, Evie, we have a mini heart, mini attack on X. Hashtag Feliz, Feliz Tavidad 2023. What is that? Feliz Tavidad. What do you mean? You have a mini attack. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna set this up right here. Hashtag Feliz Tavidad. The hashtag check it. Hashtag Feliz Tavidad 2023. What's this about? Mmm. To our Christmas loving chant composing totally not cult founding composer Octavio <laughs> the Octopasi would like to send their reply letters to you happy holidays and thank you for making the world brighter eh oh huh what is this huh Aww. Oh, there's so many! What? <laughs> huh? Handwritten letters? Oh my god, actually handwritten... Aww. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What? Uh... No way. Oh, you guys. Come on. Come on, you guys. You didn't you didn't have to do this. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No. Okay, Octopussy. This is what you get. This is what you get. Cry emoji. Angel emoji. That's a really long animation. That's a bed emoji. Book. Cool, dog, hot dog, mask, phone, rocket, money, yellow, 
You get the title drop for this, for that. You get this as well. You get this as well. You get that as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Also, you know what else you get? Huh? Look at this. Right. But thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna read these. You know, maybe I should do a stream and read all of this. I wonder how long that'll take, though. Um. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this out. Maybe I'll read it on stream. Would you guys be okay with that? I don't know how personal these letters are, but maybe I'll I'll read them on stream, like a few days, like maybe January two or something. Yeah. Pretty short. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Octoposse. What the heck? This is so sweet. Um. Uh, <laughs> and real letters. It's crazy. That's crazy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And let's redirect to the Tempest uh, year in review. And guys, let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. All right. All right. Uh, to a even crazier 2024 with all of you. Wait. The chat is not moving. To an even crazier 2024 with Octavio and the Octoposse. Octavio. Let's do it. I'm just gonna update this thing, this chat. All right. Octavio, everybody. Octavio. Woo! The chat is still not updating, I think. Yeah, there we go. Wee! Guys, thank you so much. Let's see each other again and again, even next year, 2024, until infinity. Goodbye. Just kidding, let me control you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>